All right, before we get to the comment section, this is um, a viral video that is uh, maybe the most important, maybe the most important subject we can cover today. This is a viral video about someone's experience at Disney World, and they posted this to TikTok, talking about how much they they spend at Disney World. And uh, yeah, I've never been to Disney World. I never plan on going to Disney World. I've always been uh, aware that it's expensive, but this surprised me even. Let's watch this. So here's how much we spent at Disney day two of five. A mediocre breakfast at Hollywood and Vine cost us $223. Then we headed over to Toy Story Land and even with Lightning Lane, we still only got to ride one ride. Ice cream was $25 and popcorn was 16. Then over at Galaxy's Edge, three lightsabers cost us a whopping $800. They also no longer hold them for you until the end of the day. Plus, different airlines have different restrictions when flying home, so we opted to ship them to us for an additional cost. Every ride had 120-minute wait times, so we only got to ride one ride in this section of the park as well. We tried the infamous blue and green milk and had lunch at Backlot and Funnel Cakes at Epic Eats. PhotoPass was an extra $170 for cell phone quality pictures, and finally we had dinner at Planet Hollywood. Factoring in our nightly hotel rate of $997 brings our total to $3,758. Oh my. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't even know where to start. Was that $800 on lightsabers? Did I hear that right? I'm actually not sure if I heard that right. Was it $800 on lightsabers? Yeah. It was $800. How many lightsabers was it? Was it, was it 50 lightsabers? Three. Three lightsabers. $800 on three. Were they real? Like, they better be real lightsabers, like an actual laser that can cut things in half uh, and deflect, you know, other lasers that are being shot at you. I'm, I can't really go on much, much more detail about how lightsabers work. But uh, if they're real lightsabers, then I could see maybe spending that kind of money on it. But I'm expect, I suspect that they're not and that the uh, laser is actually made of plastic. And so you're spending $800 on that. I mean, I... I it, it, like even if you're even if you're a millionaire, I think spending that kind of money on a plastic toy is an exorbitant and gratuitous expense. I can't understand this. Like we, you know, we all we all, some of us work for a living, and you get you don't get a lot of time off, uh, and it's precious precious time when you have off, especially if you have a family and you want to spend time with your family. And so you have, let's say you have a week off, and you decide that you want to spend that week down in the heat and in the in the humidity standing in lines among crowds of tourists. These are all things that I like spend my life trying to avoid. And you have a week off and you're going to, and you're going to pay money for the privilege of standing in lines and being around huge crowds in the heat and the humidity and, and spending, was it $300? $300 on at best, like Applebee's tier food. Like this is Applebee's food at, at the best. And you're spending 300 bucks on it at dinner. Biden's plans to help struggling business owners in the wake of COVID lockdowns were to prioritize black, Latino, Native American, and women-owned businesses. Well, it goes without saying that if the roles were reversed, if Biden had said that his plans were to prioritize white male-owned businesses, there would have been outrage, to say the least. So if you own a business, you can't rely on the government to bail you out. That's the moral of the story. You need to take matters into your own hands, and innovation refunds can help you do just that. If your business has five or more employees, and it managed to survive COVID, well, you could be eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of up to $26,000 per employee through the employee retention credit. All you got to do is go to getrefunds.com. Innovation Refunds has already helped uh, clients claim over $3 billion in payroll tax refunds through the ERC, and they may be able to help your business too. This is not a loan. There's no payback. It's a refund of your taxes. There's no upfront charge either. They don't get paid until your business gets paid and gets its refund. So don't let this opportunity pass you by. See if your business qualifies for ERC assistance in just eight minutes. Go to GetRefunds.com, click on Qualify Me, and answer a few questions. This payroll tax refund is only available for a limited amount of time. Don't miss out. Go to GetRefunds.com, GetRefunds.com. Um, everything about that seems horrific to me, and but people choose to endorse it. And now, this was what makes, okay, if you're a parent and you have kids and you decide that you want to go through all of this for the sake of your kids, I think it's misguided. I think it's a mistake. You don't, you, and I, I think you don't need to do this. You can give your child a wonderful time. You can make memories with your child and spend a third of the money and have way more fun. But at least 
It's the thought that counts. And so if you decide, I want to go down to Disney World for the sake of my kids and spend $50,000 on cheap plastic toys and crappy food and waiting in line for three hours so that I can ride two rides for the whole week that we're there. If you decide you want to do that for your child, you know, it, it, I mean, it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. And I, and I uh, misguided, but I can respect that. But there are adults who do, who do this without kids for, their, for themselves. I mean, imagine that for a second. You're an adult. You, can, you, you have some time off of work. You don't have any kids. You, you, you obviously have the fact that you're in Disney World means you have a lot of uh, expendable income. And you could go anywhere in the world, right? You could, it's like if you have no kids and you're an adult and you have expendable income, the, whole, the world's your oyster. You could go anywhere on vacation. And you decide to go to Disney World. You know what you could do? I mean, my wife and I, we can't do this right now. You could get on a plane and you could fly in the summertime to Alaska where it's beautiful and it gets 70 degrees, you know, at the height of the summer. And it's sunny almost all day in the summer in Alaska. And there's just wildlife and it's the most beautiful beautiful, one of the most beautiful places on earth that you can go to and you can, and you can bask in that natural beauty and have quiet and fresh air and everything. And you say, no, I don't want that. I want to go and sweat my off in huge crowds of people. I, I, I don't understand it. It is a, it's a, it is the last thing I'll say. And uh, I think at least we can agree on this part. Maybe up to now you don't agree, but at least we can say that adults who enjoy Disney World are mentally ill. There's, a, there's obviously some sort of mental illness going on here. Um, I don't know if it's in the, D, in the DSM or not, but I, I think more research needs to be done on that. And that'll do it for us today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Godspeed. <laughs>